stupid, but I mean, I've heard that like people spend time with the owners and they still attack them. Well, it's the it's the way that they are they are raised, and that's what I'm speaking about. So most of, okay, so people fight and think they're raising is like they have dogs. They want well, to do you know dogs about the dog them. fighting world? Not really. Do you know where people raise them to win to, to fight, right? Right. That's and that's why they have a bad rap. Yeah. Do you know that this one was uh, he was uh, I found him dumped on the streets, and no he way. he fought. He was all... He, Nobody wanted to help. They did not want a dog. I mean, a dog is a dog sport thing. Well, so, the whole fighting world is a whole different world out right, there. Right. Do, you know where, yeah. do you know where Wilton Manors is? Yeah. It's in the gay area. It's a gay place. It is? That's what I thought. Well, they had, they, do uh, you know what's going on in there in the news? They uh, just had showed on the news about... Um, they're cracking down on the pit bull fighting, and well, no. What's going on is the um, I'm not. I don't know if it's the people from Wilton Manors or the people got arrested there. But now what they're doing is they're putting the dogs in their trunks, and they're what? driving around with the radio really high, so the and then the dog. No, the dogs are fighting each other in a trunk. trunk, and when it oh, stops thumping, on. so they open the trunk, and whoever's well, dead or half dead, they. They dump on the streets, and the other one they take with them. There's no like, gang members and stuff with people. I mean, how do they put? I mean, how hot it is to be in a trunk this time of year? Well, it's not even and, about the and heat. Then it's, it's dark. It's too dark. Why did they fight? The, why did the dogs fight though? The two pit bulls they put in the trunk. Yeah, they 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 just starve the dogs. And they make them they okay, right. Okay. They starve the dogs. They yeah, abuse like, the dogs. They, they beat. Ball, yeah. It's just like oh that God. and a, and a lot of problems that we have here with the pit bulls is i have one that i just rescued also and mm -hmm. um she was dumped on the streets and they took all her puppies oh. and she was full of milk yeah. and you, what they do is they overbreed yeah. these pit bulls and yeah. they and then they dump the, the, the when they no longer want to breed them they yeah. dump them and what happens is is they start there's inbred dogs, you know, by overbreeding. And, and yeah, but the thing is, is that um, this dog was a this dog this dog was a fighter, and look at how calm he is now. Yeah, he is. I mean, he definitely needed. How old is he? He's probably he about five or six. My dog was He was very hyperactive. He would attack people. He attacked the painter. He attacked anybody. Did you train your Schnauzer? Or did you just let it do what it wanted I to do? Anybody, it was impossible. I just took his dog to room and made that thrown out. But see, class. your snows are probably was old and he mellowed out. Way but out. he probably was more aggressive than Rambo. And I met his sister. But he was small. I met his, my dog's sister. The sister was as crazy as he was. The Schnauzer yeah, sister. Yeah, the sister was just crazy, attacking everybody. They were, I don't know if it was did they crazy. train him? The people said that he was crazy. The dog was like, he wouldn't look for anything. So I don't know if it was but his family's tree. Do you think that um, maybe it's because the owner didn't try to understand the dog a little well, you know bit? If, if, if you had a child... And there were too many people in the house. My grandma lived with us. My mother was telling my dog. But there's always, a res there's always a solution. Do you have children? No. I killed them. No, I'm kidding. I, can't, <laughs> no, I don't have any children. But I, I had, my dog was my child. And he was when he was with me, he was fine. But if for a while, like he he couldn't meet even my friends would attack my friends. And they come over. He had to take him a while for them to get used to him. And any sudden motion, he would snap at you. So I didn't want a lawsuit on my hands. So I had to be careful. But as he got older, then he would jump and run, be friendly, and come, he'd come right down. I don't know if it was age or what. But then the doctor X-rayed him. But he was before he died. He was really ill, and they said that somebody must have hit him really hard because he had a crack. In his bone in the back. Somebody was like really hit him when he was oh. a baby. And I said, that wasn't me. What do you think about dog abuse? I think it's terrible. Does it make you sick? Yeah, I mean, I mean, how can anybody hurt any another living thing? They're, these are like, I consider my dog my pe people. I mean, I, when I went to the doctor, I, I didn't worry about how much it cost. I just do it. Do it, clean his teeth, whatever it was, I just did. Yeah, because I went away for a week and once I left my dog at my friend's house, and a chow chow attacked my dog. Because he wasn't on the leash, the chow chow came to protect my dog, and the person who was taking care of my dog didn't even bring him to the vet. The dog was in shock, let him lay in the living room, not eating or drinking for two days. Really? And I get home, and the dog's like, well, mopey, and I had to bring him to the hospital.
The chow. That, no, my schnauzer, because the chow oh, the, attacked my schnauzer. Right, right, right. The chow was one of the Norwegian, so my, my friend was walking the dog, and he came and attacked him. I think I might guess my dog got all overwhelmed and scared. Would you ever adopt a chow after yeah, that yeah, incident? They, yeah, because I don't hold it against them. No? I mean, the dog was not without a leash. The dog ran down the outside and attacked the dog. Would you adopt this dog? I don't know. I wouldn't have one of these. It's the dog. Because it'd be... Cause the Why not? Because the stereotype, I don't want to... I mean, because you know, the, to me, they're bad. So I don't, I don't need more problems and more hassles. And I'll, I'll get, I would get another schnauzer. First of all, the schnauzers don't shed. And I want the dog to shed. Well, if I give you some information on uh, the pit bull breed and... It's too big of a dog. That's well, besides the size, would you... Uh, would you review it and then let me uh, and let me interview you again next week yeah, and see if your it. mind changes? Okay, yeah, I have to read the information first. Yeah, I mean, even if even, say like even if I change my mind, other people they see me with the dog and say, "Oh, here's a, that's an attack dog." It's right, and that's what we're, that's that. what I'm trying to get out there that people like you can't fear these dogs because of what the media says right, right. and what everybody but says. They, but they but they train the they're so easily trained to do that stuff. But any dog is any easily dog trained. trained. German Shepherds can be trained to do that. Dobermans, Chows. But, but the thing the is, is that the... Ferocious. No, it's the way they handle the dogs. If you are put into a cage yeah. and starved to death and well, beaten different. and that's abused yeah. and then yeah. thrown in, you right. know, in a, in a pit to fight, you're going to fight for your life for that right. piece right. of ham that's right. in between them. They're not born to but, be fighters and be like this. Right. Every dog, even like your schnauzer could have, yeah. but your schnauzer's small, so. Yeah, he's 25 pounds. Imagine if his schnauzer was 90 pounds. Right, right, right. But to have pe the little dogs fight, I mean, that's terrible. To, to, to death. I can never watch it. It's, it's, well, I'm going to have you watch a video, if you don't mind. A death video. You're going to watch a pit bull fighting video. Yep. Oh, really? Oh, my God, yeah. I'll look at it for a little bit. Well, you know, I just, I, I, I used to ch turn my eyes to it, too. Yeah. I couldn't watch it until I ha I got, I rescued. Um, so he's your, a, so your dog now. Yes, I'm now, I'm now with three of them. Three pitbulls? Rambo, Lava, Faith, oh, okay, and Lava. Faith is my is most, new. Faith is my most recent. Oh, um, next week when I re-interview you and okay. we're going to, okay. you're, you're willing to watch the videos? Yeah, I will. Because my whole point you is, gotta give, I, get a fear, I, want my, to I work for a rescue, so it's a little yeah. different because I have trainers on my side. So, um, but I this used, to, but I used to think the same way you did yeah. until I I came across them and I started watching the videos, and it, it, it it's yeah. so disturbing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't even watch it. I can't even watch the the, the commercial for you know. The abused animals that they have. Oh, I, turn that off I do it's too. Sad. It's I so sad. It, yeah. But then it's I forced sad. myself to watch it, and then your whole, well, my yeah. whole mind yeah. Changed. Yeah. changed. And now I want to be a voice to these pit bulls and get yeah. the word out there that well, this one is. That, yeah. This one is. You know, look at them. It's he, really well behaved. My dog wouldn't even stand. He'd be growling at everybody. He'd growling exactly. Everybody, he'd growling exactly. Everybody. And people need to be more aware of it, not yeah. not to adopt. I mean, I know people won't adopt yeah, them, yeah. Um, but to change the minds of people right, to understand right, right. Them, that yeah. that like they're, they're like they're kids. They can't be with kids, they say. Yeah, but you know what? Really I have I have ten videos, over a million videos, but I have ten personal videos that I'll show you yeah. of pit bulls playing with kids. Yeah, I guess Freddie Dad is a good video. I mean, I like that. I mean. But I don't think it changed. Make they say golden them. retrievers are the, the, the number dogs. one fa family dogs, dogs and, and, and the kids them. can pull them. Yeah. Well, you know, there was an attack of a golden retriever that killed the dog, uh, excuse me, killed, killed the, the child. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you go so, dogs so much too. I mean, they, they say that, that, you know, the kids are pulling hair. Dogs aren't going to take it down all the time. The dog's finally going to No, no, this, no, no, I'm just saying that golden retrievers are known for kids yeah, pulling the hair but this yeah, kid they, yeah. this kid was across the street not even having any interaction with the yeah. golden retriever and it snapped and killed the child wow. Wow. so that's my point that you know yeah. any dog can do that right 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 i guess so well we're gonna I do give it a chance. Yeah, that's true. 
But you're willing to um, look, look at the videos yeah, yeah. and stuff and get re-interviewed? Yeah, I will. Because my viewers are really going to be interested to okay. see what you say yep. next week. I'll do that. What's your name again? Sal. Sal. Hey. Hey there. Hi. Oh. It's Rambo. Rambo. Hi. Ra Rambo, say thank you to Sal for the interview. Thank you. Rambo, sit. He's so cute. Oh, wow. Rambo, He's sit. Thing. Good boy. Good. Say, say thank you to the gentleman <laughs> for the interview. <laughs> He's hot. I know it's warm out. It's cool in the shade, but it's hot. Do you want to give him a kiss? <laughs> Did you think you'd ever be kissing a no, pit bull? No, but he, but, but you're, you know animals, so I, I feel safe because you know what you're doing. Well, you just said they could I, just snap out of nowhere yeah, just could. because I know what I'm doing. I'm taking a chance, I'll kill you. I'll take the chance. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, I'm, taking, I'm giving the you the benefit of the doubt when I'm doing that. And he's being real sweet about it. Well, next week I'll bring you, okay. uh, I'll bring you a different type of pit bull, okay? Another pit bull? Okay. Yeah. It's a, it, you'll see. Okay. You're, you're good. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Rainbow. Bye, Rainbow. Ciao. Bye, sir. Thank you for the interview. Good job, Rambo. Well, he's my American bulldog. But he's got pit in him. Not too bad, but everyone's scared of you. He's got some other stuff probably mixed in with him, but he definitely is a good dog. Good job, Rambo. So sit. See another person? Yeah, he's just a big boy. All right, let's go. Ma'am. Are you scared of this pit bull next to your side? Excuse me, ma'am. I saw you give us a very evil look. Is it because I'm walking a pit bull? Oh, wait, come on. Do you fear this dog? Do you think he's going to attack you, ma'am? Romy, come here. I think this is a little cuckoo lady I got. I don't think we want to interview her. Come on, Rambo. We're not going to interview this one. She's crazy. <laughs> Rambo and I are in day eight. We're getting closer to Wilton Manors, uh, Florida. We're going to go into this neighborhood. We got kicked out of the last neighborhood. Oh, Rambo, heel. Come on, heel. Let's go after this guy. Yeah, take a big doo-doo. 